Well, that's first. I've never heard of oat milk in a stick before. Well, let's give it a try then. And with that, a good morning, a very early morning, not that early actually, but good morning. And this is now day six, five, five with instant coffee. I really do miss my espresso machine. But anyway. Okay, we are now just about ready to roll out. I have actually no idea where we are going since my wife made all of the plans. All I know is that we are pretty low on gas. So we gotta fill our car back up and also that we gotta be back in time for our dinner reservation at the restaurant of this hotel, which is called 1853. And it's apparently fairly good and it looks fairly fancy. So very much looking forward to that. For now though, let's head out. We got a lot to explore. <laughs> Bit of a wet day today slightly rainy but it's forecasted to brighten up just ever so slightly later on today well there's our noble steed Yeah. So just within the short time span it took us to get our parking ticket situation sorted, probably 10 more cars arrived. We'll get crowded here. So anyway, we are in the Cotswolds now, Castle Com, I think that's how you pronounce it. And apparently it's one of the most beautiful English villages. Also, uh, since we skipped breakfast at our hotel, I am very much looking forward to something to eat because my stomach is aching already. So anyway, this is an old village with only 350 people living in it. But as you can see behind me, and in front of me there are so many tourists around ruining it like ourselves i'm very aware of that uh, but yeah I'm trying my best to get some halfway decent images of this admittedly lovely old and historic village but it is entirely overrun by tourists. I know we are tourists obviously so we are just part of the problem here but it is kind of hard to frame any image in such a way to uh, make it at least look somewhat empty and peaceful and present the village in such a way um, like you actually would love to experience and see it um, so in other words with little to no people around so what I'm doing now is just trying that get some shots framing them in such a way so that you do not see that there are as many tourists around <laughs>
So anyway, all of the touristy stuff aside, um, there's a lot of history to read up on uh, to this village and there are actually some nice explanations, especially in the church. And there is one of the oldest still working or still functioning clocks in there as well, which is a fully faceless clock. That's interesting. All right, well, that was something. Yeah, still haven't eaten anything, so still kind of hungry. We will now make our way towards our next location, which I'm not sure what it actually is. Okay, so apparently that's our next destination. Interesting name, yo. Another parking lot, and once again, it seems to be completely packed, and I'm really excited to see how many tourists will be around here in this area. Well, today we have a bit of a touristy day uh, planned, apparently. But yeah, still haven't found a cafe or a restaurant. Apparently there are toilets and a cafe. Nice. That looks kind of nice. some poppy seed and orange cake, a cheese scone and a flat white for me. Lovely. Just a little bit. Our last snack uh, was, I don't know, maybe five minutes ago. So we went for another one. We got some pasties. Middle Eastern lamb. Sounds lovely. Okay, so check this. We also bought something called Millionaire's Shortbread, which is basically shortbread with uh, caramel and chocolate on top. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Twix. My bros from Germany will be familiar, but this is like the first decent quality Twix of my life. This is really, really good, surprisingly so. somewhere in there some scenes of some Harry Potter movies were filmed looks really impressive from the distance but it is also 17 pounds per person for entrance so yeah not for us guys just walk through that gate okay if that works that would be fantastic all right so Sadly, that will not work. No access to Lacock, Lacock Abbey, Lacock. Uh, there are lambs in this field. Take your care. Keep your distance. Well, we can look at it from the distance. That's something. Also, oh, well, look at it. It would be so easy to just trespass, which we're not doing, obviously. But I mean, you could just walk over. <laughs> That is one sick old Land Rover. Might need some TLC though. Look at that. That's amazing. Solo penguin dinner. Interesting. Yo. <laughs> that mini has seen better days as well. But it looks well used. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to show you. Have a look at this. Apparently, this house that I'm facing right now is also part of a Harry Potter movie. I honestly don't know the scene, but I was told that by reliable sources, so let's check it. Any of you recognize it? Well, here's an image of the scene now. So, kind of interesting, isn't it? Oh, 
check this sick lotus. That is insane. And there's somebody inside. So I just had a little chat with the guy who was sat in that Lotus. It's a Lotus Emira, it's a new model apparently. I haven't seen that model before. Um, and apparently this guy who drives the Emira, uh, he does tune Lotuses in China. And so he got the Emira from Lotus to give it a little test drive for a couple of days. Amazing, what a job. All right, check this morning though. Yo. Sick. Not too shabby. Dude. Such a sick defender. Alright. Seems like we've just found the house of Harry Potter's parents in the movies. Check this. Well, here we go. So apparently, that is it. I think. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one? Yeah. Perfect. I wonder if people still live in this house. All right, so we just went inside for a nice little cup of coffee mm -hmm. and I thought, why not talk you through the EDC that I packed for this road trip through Southern England which is basically very similar to my regular EDC, but um, slightly adjusted to fit our road trip needs. So let's go through the basics real quick, which is my phone, wallet and keys. Keys, obviously only the car keys, which I'm not going to show you. Phone, um, the iPhone 13 Pro. Usually I carry this in a quad lock case, which comes in very handy for uh, riding a motorcycle, riding my mountain bike and using it for navigation. I don't need that for this trip though and my car also does have sat nav built in so no need to use the phone for navigation in the car. Um, I was using it with the Apple leather case uh, which sadly in the rain did also wash off so I got some of the color from that leather case onto my beige chinos which kind of ruined them and I'm not very fond of that. So that's why I've taken the, the Apple leather case up, off and now I'm rocking it caseless. Has worked well for me this far, even with the slanted pockets of my chinos, hasn't fallen off yet, knock on wood. My wallet of choice is still the Taros Camp Grain wallet, the one in uh, Shell Cordovan leather. And yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. I've just, um, I've just seen yesterday that the video of the wallet has now reached over 100,000 views, which is absolutely insane. Um, never would have thought that that would happen, but I'm very happy to put the word out there because this is by far the best wallet that I've ever had, that this will stick with me for a long, long time. So still very happy with that. My watch of choice is the Apple Watch SE, the cheap guy. I was contemplating to just use one of my analog mechanical watches but decided against it in the end um, because I do like having the functionality uh, of seeing at a glance when the sunset will happen, when the sun will rise, uh, what the weather is like right now and the, what the weather uh, forecast is for the next couple of hours. I do appreciate that a lot. So yeah, so now let's move on to my pocket tools, first of which is the Leatherman style PS. This is an all-time classic. Um, it's very travel friendly. It's basically just a set of small spring-loaded pliers and some scissors and a nail file. It's got some tweezers. It's got the carabiner that also works as a bottle opener. Yeah, very handy tool. I absolutely love it. And I do also carry a Benchmade 319 proper with the green micarta scales. I absolutely love this guy to death uh, and it should be UK friendly just from its size and the fact that it is a slip joint um, but if it were to be confiscated uh, I can buy another one anytime I want and it's not like taking one of my limited edition knives which I couldn't get anymore. So this is my everyday carry system. I shall now Enjoy my coffee, talk to you later.
doesn't really get out. Alright, so as you can see, I've decided to sit down here and start editing my second vlog. And my wife has gone to the spa area. Also this beer is actually really good. It is quarter to eight now and that means that our table should be ready at the restaurant of the hotel that we are staying in. Alright, so I just took a bunch of pictures of this hotel, which I'm going to show you right now. Such an incredibly unique and beautiful spot. Never been to anything like this. Loving it though. Yeah. 